All right, folks, you're probably hearing the vacuum in the background. My wife's doing upstairs. I did all down here throughout where the computer room is, laundry room, and move some stuff around and whatever. And I just wanted to do a quick video after doing that one earlier at somebody's question about what to play, you know, to on E major. It's all the same, folks. When you talk about major, no matter what key it is, E, C sharp, B, A, G, F, it's all the same. Whatever major key that you're talking about, its relative minor is three frets down, the root note of that. If you're talking C, what, is some, what the hell? What are we on here? This, This is so, so money. What do we got? Why does this sound so muddy? This ain't something ain't right. I got the trouble on six. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave it on dirty. I don't care. The, the gain is only on, not even two. All right, I'm doing a lesson, so who cares? Um, so today, I'm going to share a little bit of what my practice routines have been. I like it loud, typically, but... Uh, um, so I pick any key on a given day. Let's get it real dirty and nasty for the single notes. Uh, any key, like uh, some days I pick up the guitar and I play in F minor, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter. So this lesson, I'll just we'll just say G. Um, that G minor, your not, your major for that key, if we're talking pure minor, would be B flat. Well, let's just do G minor. What I typically do when I pick up the guitar, and it, it, any given day, it's a totally different key. It's a I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. But I do always do this. I go to my minor pentatonic, but I keep in mind this also a major key that this is going. Mean, we'll do A to keep it more basic and simple for everybody. So let's say A, very common. <laughs> Um, so we'll just do A for the heck of it, make it easy. Everybody understands A minor and C major. So typically if I pick up the guitar, whatever mood I'm in, because each key sets a mood right away. No matter what, when you pick up the guitar, that's a mood, it creates a feel. And F, the same thing, it's got a whole different feel. It, for some reason, F typically always makes me want to go to a major flavor with that, uh, with the... Uh, So in A, all right, so what I typically do, no matter what key it is, is I start out going up and down the pentatonic in that key. So we're doing A. And I go up every block that there is for it. I do right 
right away. No matter what key or what I'm going to end up doing, I'll pick up the guitar and uh, and that's what I'll do. And then I'll go up and down that pentatonic with different counts, whatever I feel like. I don't do this every time, but I almost always do what I just did right off the bat. Walk up it, slide up to the next one, go down, slide up the next one, go up, that kind of thing. Then I'll do the six count. <laughs> I went and vacuumed, so it doesn't matter. I'm getting a point across. The good thing to do to ex ex bring your playing up another level. I'm alternate picking, you know. Notice the fingers I'm using. The baby fingers involved all the time. Without it, you can't do what I'm doing. Without using that baby finger like I'm using it, you can't. You can do a lot of short riffs, like particular riffs in favor of your strong fingers, one, two, and three, and that's great, but this is about expanding and being able to ride anywhere on the fretboard and play what you want to hear in a particular key. And it's going to require needing that baby finger involved. Like right here, the third block of A minor, are the baby fingers on the end of every single note here. No, except here, sorry. If I think about it, I screw up. And then the next one up. So that's the first thing I do anytime I pick up, even if I'm going to sit and just play, let's say, some, uh, some uh, light, light jazz stuff, you know, that. So that, in A minor, that would be, would be like C major stuff. Hold on. So, so C major 7, what, what would that be here? I'd take like a, for that A minor pentatonic, something like a, if I was doing a light jazz thing, I'd do like a C major 7 type of thing, F major 7, yeah, just back and forth, just them two chords. I wouldn't add on. I'm not trying to create a piece. I'm not trying to perform. I'm just practicing my A minor pentatonic. And of course, I would do it in a rock format too. Whatever. But with those two chords. And I would end up putting in a little bit of diatonic, which means some of the, the full natural A minor and C major. Well, that's what I was going to get to with this. I go up the A minor pentatonic, we'll get to that. And, and so then I do that. All right, so I'd go up and down it like this. You know, all the way up, and then I would do again the six count. And another thing, sometimes I don't go up the whole. Th I always start off going up all six strings and sliding up down all six. But I might skip going up and down all six for time's sake, because I just want to warm up. I might do the six count just up some of them, like. Yeah. 
kind of thing. Uh, double six count, six and then six, and then uh, and then back down. I might do it on the high few strings just for time's sake, just to get warmed up, get them going. And, and then I would do a five count with them, you know. <laughs> Now, again, on that one, you, if you feel like it, go down all six of them, the five count. Now, on this one, I'm doing economy picking, which means I'm doing a down, up, down, up, down, and I'm starting the next five notes with a down. So there's a two downs in a row when, on the end of one, starting the next, you know. You can keep it alternating also, either or. And... Uh, so I would do that, uh, quickly go up a five count, then I would quickly do a three count. That kind of thing, just maybe up a few of them just to get it going. And then I would also take and do like two string stuff with it. You know, uh, and then uh, and I would run up and down it doing kind of homemade riffs, moving forward. You know, not a finished, thought out riff, just moving, you know, up. And moving down, you know. And I would just do that, and within 10 minutes, I've done all that stuff, 10, 15 minutes, then I would start creating. So this is just an example of my typical practice routine after the surgery tomorrow. Pray things go well and that I feel a lot better so I can start digging in and work towards performing again and going out and getting paid to perform like I used to. Uh, but that, you know, I can't, don't have it, I can hardly breathe, so, but those are the typical things, like if you do that as a guitar player, and then the diatonic too, you know, so in A minor, that's the key of C. So again, I did in the last E major video, it's all the same, doesn't matter what key, you go. And then when you get to the third position, it's E, so I go to the lowest point. And then I get really, once I start going into the diatonic scales, this is all from the A minor pentatonic. Now I'm going in deeper to the diatonic, which has got, you know, the, includes a full A natural minor scale. Because your A minor pentatonic can also be found in Dorian mode, in other modes, from other keys, because those skeleton notes on the outside, here's minor, here's Phrygian, which is from the key of F, but still those outward notes. Now, so it depends on the key the whole song is in, what mode you can use, but that A minor pentatonic is found in many other formats, if you will, or key. So then in diatonic in A minor, I'll start going up all them scale blocks of diatonic in A minor, A natural minor, uh, C major, pure C major this is. <laughs> And then your A natural minor. And then your C major. All the way up all the strings. And uh, that's all the notes are just from C major. That all that's just the same notes. They're all whole notes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's all that is. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we're starting at the F here, and then it's F, G, A, B, C, D, E. You know? F. But having took the time to sit down and get these under my belt, 
I have a lot of fun creating, because I can take any kind of chord progression. <laughs> Whatever I want, that Lydian flavor, you know, I can come up with a chord progression. And then I could even go down from there. I'm taking all these basic chords out of C major and creating an idea, but then I know I can use that A minor pentatonic and other pentatonic stuff. There's several pentatonics you can use in, in keys. Uh, but the A minor for sure, and the A natural minor, that F Lydian, G Mixolydian, all these different things that I know and go right anywhere on the fretboard and just play what I want the, it to feel like without missing. All the notes will fit. But you can go outside of that too. I'm just sharing my basic routine when I used to practice all the time, and I'm going to go back to that. Uh, is I pick up the guitar, run up that A minor pentatonic and down, do the five count, six count, three count, maybe just half of the strings just for time's sake, just to get just to get both hands working together. Then I'd run up and down the diatonic and within 20 minutes I've done all that, then I start creating shit. You know, it's wonderful to know that stuff. <laughs> You know, that's a whole, that's not either C major or A minor, you know, it's, it's kind of... You know, it's a blast, but those are necessary think, tools, I think, to learn is sit down and just make a decision, learn your freaking pentatonic on the entire fretboard in a key, doesn't matter what key, all those five shapes are the same no matter what key you do them in, they, you just got to place them at that key. Uh, and then when you got them down, you walk up and down them enough doing those different counts, you hear shit, you go, wow, that's a cool riff, just by, just by doing exercises with them, but I like to do, those are exercises to me, but they're musical. They're not like a metronome, tip, tip, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm listening to what each note sounds like and how it makes me feel. That's the most important thing out of it all. If, you know, and then so you, you start feeling and getting creative and you've located the notes that are definitely going to work with that particular chord progression. So just another tidbit. Before I go into the hospital tomorrow morning, you know, I come home the next day. It's only an overnight stay, but I'm sure I'm going to be moping around on painkillers, you know, for a few, whatever, a week or so. We'll see. All right. Have a good day, folks.